You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a royal order to aid the families registered with the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, and the Ministry of Labor and Social Development who have been affected by the coronavirus. His Majesty directed the foundation, led by His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs and RHF's Board of Trustees Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to undertake the task of supervising and following up on the implementation of this royal order in coordination with the relevant authorities in order to provide these families with their needs and to alleviate the financial burdens they face in this exceptional circumstance. For this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser extended sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, RHF's honorary president for his constant interest in supporting RHF's charity and humanitarian work that benefits the needy in Bahrain to ensure them the requirements of a decent life. His Highness Sheikh Nasser lauded the national efforts carried out by the national team that aims to contain and prevent the spread of COVID-19 in the kingdom through applying all international precautionary measures to confront the virus. These efforts earned the Kingdom of Bahrain a good reputation and international praise from the World Health Organization thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King who is keen on the health and safety of citizens and residents as well as the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. RHF Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayyid affirmed that His Majesty is keen to proactive in seeking the needs and citizens in various occasions and circumstances and to provide them with assistance in a manner that guarantees everyone a dignified, safe and stable life. As Sayyid noted that upon His Majesty's royal order and His Highness Sheikh Nasser's directives, the RHF shall coordinate with the National Coronavirus Combating Team and the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to deliver essential items to the needy families in various regions of the Kingdom through 500 RHF volunteers. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa has followed up on the return of stranded Bahraini citizens with great interest. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the government's keenness on repatriating the Bahraini nationals who are stranded abroad because of the precautionary closure of airports while taking all precautionary and preventative measures that ensure the safety of both the returnees and the plane crew. His Royal Highness added that the safety of citizens is a priority wherever they are, noting that it is unacceptable to under any pretext whatsoever that any citizen be subjected to any harm. His Royal Highness also asserted that the government has never abandoned its citizens and never will, and it takes care of them wherever they are. The Ministry of Health has earlier today announced the safe return of citizens from Masqat Oman as part of the international COVID-19 repatriation program. The ministry has coordinated effectively with Omani authorities to organize a charter flight to repatriate Bahraini citizens who had arrived into Oman from Iran via Doha. Returnees were subjected to vigorous containment protocols upon arrival in line with existing measures in place for individuals arriving from countries affected by the coronavirus COVID-19. The ministry expressed its appreciation to the Omani authorities for its cooperation in safeguarding the well-being of citizens and residents in both countries. The ministry underscored the strict preventative measures the kingdom is enacting to mitigate the spread of COVID-19, which requires all arriving passengers to test for COVID-19. The results of the test will determine whether they require treatment or quarantine in accordance with recommendations outlined by the World Health Organization. The ministry concluded by highlighting the progress of the international COVID-19 repatriation program, noting that the ministry is working with a range of authorities to expedite the safe return of citizens. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawzi Zainal, took part in receiving the citizens who have arrived from Iran through Masqat after coordinating with the Omani authorities. The Speaker expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Health and the Bahraini Embassy in Oman. The responsibility for indirect trip from Iran to Bahrain lies with those who choose not to coordinate with the authorities and who did not take the necessary precautions to ensure the health and safety of the travelers and the airline crew. The Speaker praised the readiness of the medical staff at the Bahrain International Airport who have made all necessary preparations as per the Ministry of Health procedures to screen arrivals from countries that suffer from a coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak. She said that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, is ready to meet all challenges. She expressed confidence in Bahraini society's awareness in doing whatever is necessary to contain the outbreak. The Speaker called on the government to brief the Council of Representatives on its plans to evacuate citizens living abroad and affirmed the importance of coordinating with the authorities to ensure the health and safety of all. 
The Jaffrey and Doman's directorate praised the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to facilitate the return of Bahraini citizens stranded abroad while taking into consideration all preventative measures to ensure their safety. The Jaffrey and Doman Chairman Yusuf bin Saleh Al Saleh hailed the efforts of the government and the society to overcome the current health circumstances. He commended the efforts of the health ministry, the medical team, the national National Task Force to Combat COVID-19, Bahrain Defense Force, the security bodies and the government and non-governmental authorities in supporting the community. The Jaffrey Endowments Directorate also praised keenness of the community to comply with the directives issued by the official parties, including suspending religious and social activities at mosques, community centers and condolence to majlises, stressing that adhering to the instructions reflects a high level of awareness and responsibility, which will help curb the outbreak of the virus and eliminate it. The Assistant Undersecretary for Radio and Television Affairs at the Information Affairs Ministry, Abdullah Khalid, has stressed that the entire world is facing a common challenge that cannot be defeated without consolidating responsible awareness. The Assistant Undersecretary said that in line with the directives of the Information Affairs Minister, Ali bin Mohammed al-Ramehi, the ministry has produced 500 reports, 240 educational TV programs, and 60 radio and television timeouts ever since the first COVID-19 case was announced 30 days ago. He said that the aim is to highlight the efforts of ministries and state departments to combat COVID-19, thus providing the responsible national role played by the Information Affairs Ministry being the first defense line in confronting the global challenge. He asserted that the figures reflect the Information Ministry's competencies, keenness to assume their patriotic duties as a united team to combat the pandemic. He also highlighted the success of the televised lessons aired on Bahrain Sports Channel 2 in cooperation with the Ministry of Education. Dosari expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to the Information Affairs Minister for his unwavering support for the radio and television sector so as to be able to carry out its national duties to its fullest. He also paid tribute to all ministries and state departments for their great cooperation and commendable efforts, pledging that the Information Affairs Ministry will continue performing its duties around the clock.